Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map, mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he's set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the...
left that line around. I hear about a training accident. That would be Burgess. Man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Corey with motorcade. I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. He sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if you ever want to get with Rose without the boss and going, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. Huh. I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? It'll make her day. I just watched an interview with that billionaire presidential candidate last night. You know, the one with the famous hairdo. Ah, that guy seems so well composed and has such a refined academic way to use his arguments. Flanked with well researched facts and figures. He's honest and, and trustworthy. What do you want to When your disturbed brain tells you to. You know what? Screw you. You don't respect me. We're through. I'm done with you. Okay, okay, relax. I'm sorry, okay? This day has just sucked since I got out of bed this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 
Watch your six. We got a casualty. few moments later Ezra Berg has been eliminated good work 47 Yeah, Command Central, you read me? Uh, yeah, copy that. Lost my ankles in this goddamn thing. Roger that. A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess, and according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties.
What the fudge? Death trap. Well, no hard That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, turned insurgent. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride. That's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, Parvati. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Parvati is down. Good work.
know, I've been thinking, man. In school, they always talk a lot about separation. Guy. The guy Ezra Berg has tied up in the interrogation room. Hey there, big guy. Hold up a second, Private. I'm warning you, mister! This is your final warning! Here. 
This is wrong. Baptism by fire. How do we look on explosives? It looks like it. Hey there, big guy.
Hi there, Grunt. Send out Big Cat to my 12 for recon. Gage, Q Delta 4 9 We are on top of things as it stands. We've got a body here. All units report. Looks like we've been compromised. Over. Huh? Red leader, area is clear. Moving on to the next location, over. What's going on here? What happened? We got a sim. Still around here. I'm telling you the truth. Any description? What does he look like? It was all over before I had a chance to see what was going on. Come on, come in. You copy? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm here now. Clear? No, no nothing. nothing. Good to see you. That's what I'm saying. Watching the Bronco. There's something else. Like back in the day, it was a proud day when you joined the professional security detail, right? Like, you know, we had codes, right? Now you've got all these rough things coming in. Hello, sir. school, they always talked a lot about the separation of powers. Penelope Graves, we need to talk. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. That's what I'm saying, man. Getting away from the harsh world out there, you know? I mean, that's what... So, I just found out the Pravati was a criminal... This is a restricted area, sir. You need to leave the area. Mike 1, Tango is standing down.
some respect. Keep your distance. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. Recruit. This should give her something to think about. So, look, it's nice of Rose to think of my safety and everything, but I need to do something on my own here, so just come back in a few, all right? Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. <laughs> Look clean. Changed, Changed clothes at JFK, JFK and again at Denver, Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. I've got tons of respect for you guys. You're not allowed to be here, sir. Please. That Keep fighting for the free world. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body. 
or something equally convincing. Shit! Jesus! Plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Oh, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto. Beldingford, Delvade, the Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. something. So does. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences.
Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. better than anyone.